The first set was a match. From there on in, it was all Sabalenka. Terrific tournament for Camilla Rakimova. First third round here, but she's been Arina pretty much blown away Sabalenka. by Arena Sabalenka. It's match win number 32 of the season. She keeps that up. She's going to be very tough to beat. She certainly is. Yeah, but a demolition job there by Zabalenka, firing on all cylinders. Made it uncomfortable for her opponent. Your thoughts for Rakimova? It's worth to do, and in, in, in fairness, you know, a great event, as you said, third round is a, is a very, very good effort, but uh, I, I think probably almost a fair scoreline. She was she was outplayed for most of it, almost all of it, and, you know, can you take those very few and small opportunities you get that start to maybe make things difficult for the likes of Zabalenka, unable to do that, and you know, part of that would have been a little uncomfortable, but... It is for many people like when you're facing the power that Sabalenka has to offer. Zilan, a few times a champion here with the questions. Arina, unbelievably well played. How does it feel to go on to one of the biggest courts in the world and be as confident as you are with all these people at the moment? Oh. It feels amazing. <laughs> feels amazing to feel your support and uh, just to be on this court, have opportunity to uh, play tennis, uh, try to show your best and uh, just to enjoy the atmosphere. And once again, thank you everyone for your support. It's really it's something special to play in front of you. And especially thank you for that music group. You guys are so good. Thank you. <laughs> um. Since you won the Australian Open, this is the first Grand Slam, how do you feel? Are you feeling any different now that you know that you know how to win a Grand Slam coming into here? Uh, I don't know. I think every tournament is a different tournament, especially uh, Roland Garros. It's, uh, it's completely different to Australia Open, different surface. And uh, I mean, it's really good to have Grand Slam in your pocket. It's gave you so much belief in these tournaments. And uh, yeah, every time on the court, I'm just trying to show my best. and play my best and, and hopefully um, do well here in Paris. Yeah, well, you are doing great. Uh, I have a question. At 6-2, 4-2, break point down, you hit a second serve ace. What, are you crazy? I mean, <laughs> is that a sign of confidence or...? No, I just lost a little bit. I was just like, okay, whatever, I'll go full on this one. If, if I didn't put it in, okay, whatever, I'll try to do better on the next serve. Okay. <laughs> Lucky me, wind helped me to put this ball in. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, so it wasn't intentional. What would you do in a day off? Do you have a chance to visit Paris and go sightsee? I know you like to do, do a lot of stuff. Um, I like, as I said before, I like to go in the good restaurants, uh, enjoy uh, French food. Uh, yeah, of course, I'll have some time to enjoy Paris. I actually okay. love this place. <laughs> Irina, thank you very much. Thank you so thank much. You well done. Congratulations. So relaxed, Mark. Yeah, Sabalenka. that's showing a little character, too. And, uh, yeah, interesting here. New tournament, new start. Hi, I'm John McEnroe, and welcome to Eurosport Tennis on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Tennis.